Hey everybody, it's Ramona. Welcome back. Happy Friday. And I have what I have melted and burned this week. Um, a little bit left over from Candy Kim's basket, plus a few of the vintage chic that I had pulled as well, and one candle. So let's talk about the candle first. You're going to laugh. You're going to think I'm absolutely crazy. The candle I burned this past couple of weeks is Homework's Frozen Balsam. Don't ask me why. I was just going through candles. What did I want to burn? Nothing really kind of looked interesting. But no, no, no. I was like, you know what? I'm going to burn that candle um, because the first two in this winter collection, if I can recall correctly, were duds. I didn't really. One of them I think had no throw. The other one had puny wicks all the way down. So, so I, you know, I like the scent of it. I really like the scent of it. And so I was just burning it in the bathroom off and on. So anyway, Frozen Balsam by Homeworks. This is from the uh, Today's Special Value from QVC from the Winter Collection. Um, and it is Fir Balsam, Frosted Ozone, Bergamot, Oak Moss, and Evergreen. And um, it has lots of, you know, notes in there, but basically it's just, you know, the Christmas tree, Fir Balsam, you know, cool, fresh. Um, and I really like it. And, you know, like I said, I know I'm like off, you know, not burning it appropriately, in the season but I really enjoyed it now as far as the burn goes uh, the first two burns did have the curly wicks this is a four wick as well one of them is just a little smudge there um, four wick candles uh, the first two burns they did curl the wicks did um, they didn't drown none of them kind of went that far over but after those first two burns it burned perfectly almost all the way down I didn't have to um, cotton ball it there was no tunneling the throw was like nine out of ten it was it was what homeworks used to be in the three wicks so I was really really happy until I got down to maybe a little bit less than a quarter of the candle then in the last three burns I cotton balled it three times like it just went like puny puny wicks <sighs> frustrating but anyway overall I really enjoyed the burn of this candle, except for, like I said, that bottom part. Um, this, I love the scent. The throw was great. Um, and then it burned all the way down. I mean, it's almost down to the bottom. Like if I stick my nail in there, it's almost, I'm touching the glass. So it burned almost all the way down. You can even see uh, the wick clips on that one. So um, like I said, overall, I was impressed with the burn on this candle, which is I really needed to have a positive homework burn because as everyone else is kind of frustrating with the you know the four wicks that are supposed to be better and they're not and da 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 today seeing lots of negativity about last week's TSV the wicks are floating and just a mess so anyway like I said that was a positive thing which I really needed okay moving on so some things that I was working on and didn't finish from Vintage Chic is a Bluebird Cafe Embeds Chicago Output Over Chicago outfit over four. I melted this twice, so I still have uh, several melts left in here. And uh, fresh picked strawberries is the Bluebird Cafe portion of this, and blackberry mango ginger ale, which you know is a favorite of everyone's. Whew, that's so so good. Now I must say, um, when it was melting, I got a little bit of strawberry, but mostly I got the Chicago outfit and the ginger ale part of that. Um, Chicago outfit so that was good still working on that I melted a couple pieces of gypsy, gypsy Monroe blackberry smoke which is look I am falling apart my whole body's falling apart now I can't even see that first word uh, bonfire blackberry ja blackberry jam um, marshmallow fluff and graham crackers um, this also is really good I do get the marshmallow and the bonfire and the blackberry. I don't get much um, graham crackers, and that's totally fine with me because I'm not sure that I like graham crackers in my wax. I haven't had too much of it, and the things that I did have it with it, um, it's not coming through, so that's fine. Uh, I worked on this big, giant waffle from Zape Bath in Waffle Doodles. This was so good. Again, not seasonally appropriate, but you know, whatever. Um, because, because like in winter, sometimes I want to melt something summery and vice versa in the other seasons. Like I just get sick of melting what I'm supposed to melt 
in a particular season and I just crave other things. So I would say like I'm a seasonal melter like 70% of the time. I don't know. Mainly I melt what I want. Um, but anyhow, this was a big giant waffle and I probably have it. I have like four more melts out of this. I can pull ways. This is really good. If you like pumpkin pecan waffles and typical waffle scents, you'll like it. Yeah, it's, it's very similar to pumpkin pecan waffles. Very, very similar. Okay, what did I finish? Um, I finished a berry mango freeze and that is my Walmart Wax Wednesday. You, so you'll see a review of that. Uh, Super Tarts Beast. I love this. This is um, blueberry and cornbread. Um, oh, so good. If you like cornbread scents, I really, really recommend you try Beast. It does have that blueberry in there, but the cornbread is really the predominant note. And um, wax everywhere. Sensational's Rainy Day. I love this one as well. Oops. It's very, isn't that funny? You know, when I, when I melted this the other day, it's like, that's not how I remember it to be. And several things every now and then I melt, it's like, I used to like that. Why don't I like it anymore? I guess, I don't think the wax changes. I think your nose changes or your scent of, you know, just like everything, your taste changed or my taste changed. So I, I really, I liked it. Um, it's a little heavy on the white musk which is okay, it's, it's not as fresh as I recall it being. It's a little bit perfumey, a little bit perfumey. But this is good, really good mix with a very light floral. I often will do one cube of this and one cube of a light floral like lilac or apple blossoms or you know whatever. The same way I do with the fresh air and a light floral as well. Okay, I melted strawberry jam. This was pulled out from Canada Kim for the melting basket that she pulled. Still, my all time favorite strawberry scent. It smells just like homemade strawberry jam, fresh strawberry jam. It is so, so good. So I melted some of it on its own and then I melted some of it with a quarter of this uh, coffee shop, uh, from the coffee shop, coffee shop sampler by Zape, Sunday Times, which is fresh brew coffee, snickerdoodles, and 27 across, which is a crossword puzzle of some kind. So I put a quarter of this in with two of these, and anyway, the coffee and the strawberry jam was like really, really good. Yeah, coffee to me is good with just about anything. Which reminds me, I was thinking about doing a coffee collection or you know an updated coffee collection or uh, you know coffee inventory but I've been posting kind of a couple you know a few inventories collections so I don't know if you want to see another one if anybody's interested in seeing you know my updated coffee collection um, I don't want but then you know I don't want to post too many videos and kind of get in your face and you know whatever so if you want to see it let me know and I'll do it uh, from Swanky, this also was one that Kim picked, and it is fresh pear and ginger ale. OMG, Swanky. This I would buy in a loaf. It was super strong. Definitely get like the fruitiness of the pear and the strong ginger ale. This was really good. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put this aside to remind me to look and see if I can get a loaf of that from Swanky because it was really, really good. I really, really liked it. Okay, finishing up here with uh, VCS, The Winged Mermaid, which is Shimmering Blue Lagoon, Salty Sea Air, and Coconut. And that was a rose, really good. All, I mean, almost all of the ones that I bought in the fresh collection, like it has like Salty Sea Air and Watery Scents and Lagoon and whatever, all of them are throwing like eight out of 10, really, really strong, and that's no exception. Uh, Chicago Outfit, Kim pulled this one for me, and uh, Blackberry Mango Ginger Ale, love it, strong thrower. Uh, the Evil Queen is Mac Apple Lavender and Cotton Candy, and I melted this one upstairs, like in both the bedrooms. I liked it, I wish the Mac Apple had come forth a little bit stronger. I mainly got Lavender and Cotton Candy, so I was really missing the apple in that one. Cookie Cleaver is sugar cookie, sugar cookie dough, butter, cream frosting, and sugar milk, and caramel butter cookies. Um, this is basically, you know, just like a, a, you know, caramely cookie. It was good. 
the throw wasn't the throw was maybe like a five or six out of ten on that one this is happy days on cape cod which is apple mango tango clean cotton salty sea salty sea spray sea weather driftwood and water lily again another one from that uh, fresh collection and some of them smelled so so similar like i probably couldn't tell the difference um, I didn't really get any of the Apple Mango Tangle, but I did get a lot of the Salty Sea Air Spray, Driftwood, Water Lily, watery stuff. And Eloquent Eleanor, which is Seagrass, Salty Air, and Musk. Another one from that same collection. And again, smells pretty much the same. And it, it's okay. I mean, I like it. Okay, that's it. So that is it for this week's empty. So starting tomorrow, I'm going to start on my destination wax and I'm going to put a dent in that DW. Yes, I am. And so I hope everybody has a great weekend tomorrow, Sensi Saturday. I have, I'll have something for you for that. And again, if you want to see my copy collection, let me know. If you don't, that's totally cool too. You know, I don't want to be like, you know, shoving stuff down your throat if you don't want to see it. But anyway. Okay, so, oh, and then also, I just wanted to let people know, they asked about my foot x-ray. Um, my foot has been aching, like, many, my foot, I've been bad feet for years and years and years. And like 10, nine, eight or nine years ago, I had a plantar fasciotomy. They cut the tendon to release the tendon from the plantar fasciitis, and that helped that a lot. But this last couple years, especially this last six months, like the bones on the top of my foot, are really aching like at night after a 12 hour shift it just throbs and throbs and throbs and it's really preventing me like I used to do 5k's I just walked in my I'm not a runner because of my feet and my knees but so anyway I've met my deductible this year for my health insurance like you know what let me just go get an x-ray and see what it is maybe it's something in there that can be repaired if it's a hairline fracture or something like it just like it's all like even in the morning now when my day is just starting it used to be I could get through half the day at work before my foot started aching, but now it aches like all the time. Like I'm always aware of my foot. It's never not there. So, you know, I, you know, you ask patients if what their pain level is and they say a 10, but they're sitting there texting. It's like, no, that's not a 10. But I'm always aware of my foot. Like I would say it's a three or four on the discomfort scale. And then later in the day, it could be like a six or more. But anyway, okay, rambling. So I got my chest, my um, foot x-ray back. All it is is arthritis. So I have to go see a podiatrist, see if they can maybe do something like inject me with some um, steroids or something for the pain and discomfort. Uh, but like, yeah, so like my foot is gone, my knees are gone, my eyesight is gone. Like I'm just like falling apart bit by bit by bit. So I hope, and you know, if your feet hurt, everything hurts. You can't, I mean, if your feet hurt, you're just miserable and it's really difficult you know, to work or do whatever when, a, you know, a body part hurts, especially feet. But anyway, so anyway, yes, I don't have any broken bones. The chest X, I keep saying chest X-ray. God forbid I need a chest X-ray. My foot X-ray just showed. Arthritis. See, now my mind is going too. My God. All right, well, I'm going to have a glass of wine because I had a hard day. And I hope everybody has a good glass of wine or relaxes in whatever way you see fit. Have a great weekend. I'll see you soon. Bye.